Compact fluorescent lamps, or CFLs, are becoming more and more popular with people who would like to do something good for the environment and good for their household budget as well. CFLs have a number of benefits for homeowners and business owners. First, they're going to save you money on your energy bill. A compact fluorescent lamp uses about 70% less energy than an incandescent bulb. Also, an incandescent bulb uses 90% of its energy to generate heat, not light. So if you're using incandescent bulbs, you're going to have to offset that heat gain by adjusting the temperature on your air conditioner. There's one more advantage to using compact fluorescent lamps. You're going to save money over the lifespan of the bulb because they last up to 10 years, which means you're replacing those bulbs a lot less often. Compact fluorescent lamps range in color from red to blue, and you simply need to choose one that achieves the best look and appearance for your home. The lower the Kelvin rating, the redder and warmer the light. The higher the Kelvin rating, the cooler and bluer the light. If you'd like to do something with that red warm light, then try to find a Kelvin that's around 2600. If you're wanting a cooler blue look, then select a daylight lamp and again, go for that Kelvin rating closer to the 5000 range. There are several lamps on the market and it simply takes a few minutes to shop around and find the perfect color for your home. Another consideration in shopping for a CFL is the intensity of the light or the wattage. It's similar to shopping for an incandescent bulb, but you need to do a little bit of math when you're on your shopping trip. If you normally use a 60 watt incandescent bulb, then simply divide by four and that will give you your compact fluorescent lamp wattage. For example, 60 watts divided by four, it's a 15 watt CFL. It's really pretty easy and it's a lot of fun to do with your kids and a little bit educational too while you're on your shopping trip. Last, consider how you're going to be using your lamp. Is it for general lighting, for example, in a ceiling fan or something that would light your entire room? Is it accent lighting, say a lamp that would color wash a wall or be focused more in a small area? Or is it for task lighting, something that you would use on your desk or possibly your reading lamp? Sometimes accidents happen and you might drop a compact fluorescent lamp on the floor. If it breaks, there are some important things to remember in order to clean it up properly. Basically, it's just a little common sense. First, you want to keep your children and your pets away from the breakage area, just like you would any other glass break, an incandescent bulb, a vase, a plate, whatever. You want to clear the area of anybody who's vulnerable to getting cut. Then, open the window and ventilate the area for about 15 minutes. Slip on a pair of rubber gloves and then scoop up the glass and mercury beads with two pieces of cardboard or index cards. Take the broken material and place it in a Ziploc bag. Use tape to pick up smaller pieces of glass and mercury. Once you're finished, place this in the Ziploc bag as well. Avoid using a vacuum cleaner or broom since this will release mercury vapor into the air. If you do need to use a vacuum cleaner for any reason, don't forget to take the collection bag and put it into a Ziploc bag. We hear a lot about the mercury that's contained in compact fluorescent lamps. The amount is actually very minute. You could place the amount of mercury in a CFL on the tip of a ballpoint pen. And when compared to those old fashioned thermometers our mom used to shake down before placing in our mouths, it's a hundred times less than the mercury in that thermometer. There are several ways you can dispose of a burned out CFL or the material that you've cleaned up from a broken CFL. The first option is to simply throw it in the trash. Just be sure that whether it's a compact fluorescent lamp or one that's been broken, that everything is sealed in a Ziploc bag or some type of container. The more environmentally responsible way to dispose of a CFL is through recycling it. Whether it's broken or intact, there are a lot of options for Plano residents to recycle their compact fluorescent lamps. First, Elliott's Hardware, located at Park and Coit, will accept intact CFLs or broken CFLs as long as they are in sealed containers. There's no charge for this service and it's so easy just to run down there and drop them off. Another business that also collects CFLs for recycling is Home Depot. Now they do limit their collections to intact bulbs only. 
For more information about compact fluorescent lamps, how to choose one that you'll be happy with in the long run, how to dispose of one if it burns out, and also how to clean one up, just visit our website, livereenandplano.com. There's a link there for the EPA as well, and you'll find all the information you could possibly want about compact fluorescent lamps and how they'll positively impact your household budget.